these are some general differences uh, between shaper and planar so let's discuss about it uh, in shaper these are lighter in construction whereas uh, these are uh, planar machines are larger and uh, heavy in shaper it requires uh, less flow space area but in case of planar it requires uh, more floor area uh, in shaper tool uh, reciprocates uh, and uh, workpiece is uh, stationary but in case of uh, planar it is uh, opposite tool is stationary and workpiece uh, is movable in case of uh, shaper the tool is uh, very simple but in case of planar it's uh, quite massive in shaper only one tool uh, can be used uh, but in case of uh, shaper uh, planar more than one tool uh, can be used shaper it is perfect uh, in in this perfect accuracy is not obtained but in case of planar maximum accuracy is obtained shaper it is adapted for a uh, smaller work and uh, planar is adapted for uh, larger types of uh, work in shaper it is used for batch or uh, job shop production and the planar it is used for mass production shaper the cost of machine is less uh, but in case of planar the cost of machine is uh, high uh, now we will uh, discuss uh, next uh, type of uh, machining operation that is uh, broaching that it is a machining operation uh, uses a to tool that is called uh, broach this is a simple geometry of the tool uh, mentioned here that uh, this is the workpiece which is to be cut and this is the cutting tool having the uh, multiple teeth in this manner this is the uh, chip gullet here and this is the thickness uh, uh, this is the uh, cut per tooth here so uh, here in this geometry it is mentioned that uh, the differences between tool uh, uh, teeth tip is uh, feature the rake angle or hook angle is represented in this manner this is the uh, land here and this angle is called uh, backup or clearance angle this is the uh, tooth depth and this radius is considered as a uh, root radius generally broaching is a process of machining a surface with a special multi-point tool that is called uh, broach this is uh, this type of tool is called broach uh, whose teeth remove the whole machining alloyance in a single stroke the process uh, differs from other machining processes in that uh, the only motion is the primary cutting motion of the tool the feed is obtained by placing the teeth progressively deeper with the tool uh, means the uh, depth increases uh, progressively thus each tool edge takes off a successive layer of the material the primary cutting motion is uh, translational uh, along the broach axis so here the element of a tooth is uh, mentioned uh, that the hook angle here it is in the range of 15 to 20 uh, degrees it is for steel and uh, 6 to 8 degrees uh, for cast iron and uh, back of angle is 1 to 3 uh, generally it uses a single pass for finished surfaces or, or size as we have discussed uh, multi point uh, cutting tool that is called broach so here uh, this is a typical internal broach but we will discuss uh, material first uh, material generally uh, based on cutting tool material properties and uh, it is made uh, mostly made up of uh, high speed steel ceramic are not uh, used as uh, low speed cemented carbide segments are uh, replaceable inserts are also used especially for cast iron and seals Tin coating provide uh, high uh, life. So let's discuss about uh, typical internal broach in which uh, various parts names are mentioned. This portion is called uh, shank here up to this. Then uh, this is the uh, root diameter uh, mentioned here. This is the pull end. Then uh, this length is the overall length of uh, tool here. This is uh, to this point this is a roughing teeth then uh, 
it starts with the semi finishing teeth and lastly it is finishing teeth so cutting length is represented so here uh, rear pilot is represented and follow rest grip is represented so about uh, internal uh, uh, brooch uh, it is a typical a typical internal brooch is shown in this uh, diagram to machine an internal hole the brooch is grip by a puller by a puller at the shank end this side the front pilot center the brooch in the hole before the teeth begin to cut the front taper uh, that is 5 to 20 mm uh, facilitates the insertion of the front pilot in the hole the first set of teeth behind the uh, front pilot removes most of the material and are called roughing teeth these are the roughing teeth up to this range uh, these are followed by a few teeth uh, called uh, semi finishing uh, teeth here this is the range of uh, semi finishing where the depth of cut of the individual tooth is quite small finally there are finishing or sizing teeth uh, which are all of the same size this one uh, and have the shape of the finished hole sometimes a finish sometimes a few burnishing teeth may be provided after the finishing teeth these have no cutting edge but are uh, button shape and uh, from 0 0.025 to 0 0.075 mm larger than the size of the hole so this is the uh, typical type of uh, internal brochure now uh, next uh, we'll discuss various types of uh, this, uh, type of like uh, vertical pull down brushing from the types of uh, brushing machines there are internal brushing machines of uh, vertical pull down and vertical pull up and then surface uh, brushing machines like vertical brushing machine horizontal surface brushing machine and continuous brushing machine about uh, vertical uh, pull down uh, brushing machine as it is uh, represented uh, represented in this diagram in these machines the brooch instead of being pushed is uh, pulled through the job the pulling mechanism is in the base of the machine the brooch is suspended above the work table by an upper carriage to start the broaching process the brooch is lowered through the workpiece held in a fixture on the work table the brooch is automatically engaged by pulling mechanism and is pulled down through the job after the operation is completed the brooch returns to its starting position so this is all about the vertical pull down broaching machine uh, let's discuss the advantages and disadvantages of broaching machine it is uh, it has a very high production rate generally much higher than milling planing and boring etc dimension accuracy and uh, ac uh, form accuracy and surface finish is very good roughing and finishing in single stroke of the same cutter uh, it needs only one motion that is cutting so operation and control are simpler some of the disadvantages uh, design manufacture and restoration of the brooches are difficult and expensive defects or damages in the brooch uh, like uh, cutting edges severely affect product quality uh, only through holes and uh, surfaces can be machined and uh, economically eco this is economic only when the production volume is very large so uh, here we have discussed uh, uh, about the shapers planers and broaching machine so thank you thank you so much